Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. Just wanted to remind you guys that tomorrow I will be giving away the Ledger Nano S. All you have to do is comment on tomorrow's video, uh, add your Twitter handle, or if you feel comfortable, your email. I know some people don't want to do that for privacy purposes, but just comment on tomorrow's video. I'm going to pick a random commenter and announce the winner on March 1st. So I got this tweet this morning from Crypto-XRP. That's at Crypto underscore dash XRP. If you're not following him, you should on Twitter. He tweets out some very, very great stuff. He tweets me stuff almost daily. And I'm really happy that he does. Uh, he gets right into kind of uh, the financial aspect of uh, global finance, uh, US finance, so on and so forth. Uh, this article here though, from shiftgold.com, US Mint suspends silver eagle sales due to high demand. Um, let's read a little bit about this. Investors are gobbling up American silver eagle coins. Sales were so brisk last week that the US Mint temporarily suspended orders when its inventory ran out. February sales this year have already doubled 2018 levels. As of February 26th, the Mint has sold over 2 million silver eagles this month. That compares to 942,000 coins in February 2018. This represents a whopping 118% year-on-year sales increase. January sales were also brisk, and then it goes into those numbers there. According to SRS Rocco, authorized purchases of Silver Eagles jumped by 775,000 ounces this past Thursday, prompting the temporary sales suspension. The Mint issued the following statement on February 21st. This is to inform you that we have temporarily sold out of our inventories of 2019 dated American Eagle Silver Bullion coins. In addition, all remaining 2018 dated inventory have been sold too. The West Point Mint is busy producing additional 2019 dated coins. We hope to be able to relaunch the 2019 dated coins in a few weeks. The Mint has suspended sales before, but this is more common in the fourth quarter as inventories decrease and the Mint winds down production. So... They're finding that a lot of people are buying up these uh, silver coins. It's basically silver in the form of a coin. And so are people scared about a looming financial crisis? Well, SRS Rocco indicated strong silver eagle sales will likely continue in the near future. I believe demand for silver eagles will remain strong this year, but it will take another financial and economic crisis to push the annual purchases back up to the 35 to 40 million range. And I believe we may likely see that type of demand in the next few years. As the global financial system starts to unwind due to massive amounts of unsustainable debt. And that just kind of goes to people's perception of the U.S. economy. And this all ties into crypto. When people buy silver and gold, right, they are um, worried, let's say, about how their economy is uh, acting and how their economy is performing. And so I'm not terribly surprised at this news. It is interesting. It's something to keep your eyes on, especially in this market when we know crypto is uh, poised to kind of jump. And when there is ever a uh, financial issue, whenever there's a currency problem or economic strife, what people will do is put their money into alternative investments, just even as a safeguard like gold, silver. And I have a feeling that crypto will be more popular and prominent than before. Tron CEO calls Bitcoin bottom. I just wanted to read a little bit about this. Tron CEO calls bottom. Tron CEO Justin Sun, who we know used to work for Ripple, says he thinks Bitcoin has already hit a bottom. In a new interview with Chinese crypto outlet Huaxing, Sun says the bear market is effectively over and he expects Bitcoin to stay above $3,000 and move as high as $5,000 in 2019. I think it has already hit the bottom and the bear market is over. For this year, I think Bitcoin will fluctuate between $3,000 and $5,000. The opportunities for market breakthroughs this year include the explosion of the DAP ecosystem, the large-scale application of the Lightning Network, and the three major opportunities for BitTorrents, 100 million users to enter the cryptocurrency market. So this is kind of interesting. The head of Tron is calling the bottom. Let's take a look at the market real quick here. I'm not going to dwell on this too much, but um, we saw right after this huge dump, we were consolidating here, and then we saw a bit of an uptrend. And then we saw the dump here with a bit of consolidation. I don't know, could we see lower lows? It is quite possible still. Um, but, you know, even if we do, even if we fluctuate between, like he said, 3,000 and 5,000, so that would kind of bring us to the bottom of this level here. 
Um, 3,000 and 5,000, that wouldn't be terrible for 2019. We need a launching pad point at this point. Uh, we are not going to moon right away. We will probably see steady increases, that's my opinion, before we see moon. And in the XRP right now blog, um, Coinbase adds XRP, what's next? So we heard about the Coinbase news from a few days ago, really exciting stuff. But the question is, what is next? What a truly great way to start the week for our XRP community as we are all settling into another Monday morning, most of us moving from our second or third cup of coffee. Coinbase drops a bomb on us. We receive the tweet we have been waiting for almost two years. Coinbase Pro is going to list XRP. So this is all stuff we know already. So the big question is, what's next? That's the question on most people's minds. The XRP community has been waiting for two years for good old Coinbase. Coinbase to list XRP and it's done. Well, sort of. As of now, Coinbase Pro will list XRP and I'm 99.9% .9 positive that in a week or two from now, Coinbase will have XRP as well. That's a step in the right direction. So where do we go from here? Does the hatred stop on Coinbase? So that's firstly a good question. Do we all stop hating on Coinbase now that they've listed XRP? To be honest, I'm indifferent to Coinbase. I've never used it. I probably never will, unless some really important features are made and, uh, and, and it makes me want to use it. So I want to kind of know how you guys gauge this because I know there was a lot of hate in the community for Coinbase. Now that they've listed XRP, will you guys go back to XRP? Let me know in the comments. Do people move away from Uphold or Bittrex and jump onto Coinbase wagons again? Uh, time will tell. We believe that Coinbase is two years too late. We believe Coinbase waited for the right time. What we mean is that they added all their SHIT coins first, pumped the bags, chased out because they now are useless. Ethereum Classic, for example, waiting for a prolonged bear market and then added XRP when it would have a very limited pump. That is very interesting. If they had listed coin, if they had listed XRP back at the rally, it would have been a disaster. Like that would have been, well, not so much a disaster for um, maybe, let's say, experienced traders who would have seen the price uh, pump probably more than it did. But for a lot of people, they would have thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to be rich tomorrow. And they would have lost their shirts because yeah, an inevitable dump would have taken place. The last thing Coinbase wanted to see was a pump like we would have gotten two years ago and Bitcoin dethroned from the number one coin, right? Well played by Coinbase. So they added it at a time where we're seeing a depressed market. Um, kind of positioned at a point where we're going to start to see crypto movement. So I'm sure there was a lot of issues at play here. Coinbase as a whole is down 83%. So sooner or later, they had to make the move and add the number three crypto. The question is, is this too little too late for Coinbase? So very interesting question. Again, I want to hear what you guys think. Will you start using Coinbase? I feel like they've lost a lot of support, but uh, that's just my opinion based on rumblings I hear in the community. So why Nasdaq's real-time crypto data portal might soon list XRP? And this to me is really validating news. Ripple XRP is on a winning streak right now. Yesterday, the world's third largest cryptocurrency jumped 12% after the Coinbase listing. Now there's an XRP index in the works and there's a good chance it will be listed on the Nasdaq, the world's second biggest stock exchange. Bitcoin and Ethereum indexes are live on NASDAQ. So on February 25th, NASDAQ launched the long-awaited Bitcoin and Ethereum indexes on its platform. The index is powered by Brave New Coin, aimed to provide a stable, accurate spot price for the cryptocurrencies. The listing on NASDAQ is a huge step forward for the crypto industry and a nod of approval from Wall Street. So guys, if we get XRP listed on the NASDAQ, so let me just be clear, it's not actually Ripple, the company being listed on the NASDAQ, it would be a XRP index to track the spot price of XRP, so you would actually be purchasing a product on the NASDAQ that essentially follows uh, XRP spot price. And so this is good for institutional investors who you know, want to get exposure to these emerging technologies. I don't think that they're willing to do, to go through all the rigmarole of what we've gone through to buy cryptocurrencies thus far. Um, and I think that gives us an edge because we got into this space um, earlier. Let's just say earlier, even if it wasn't way earlier, it's still earlier than the common person and certainly earlier than Wall Street. So this NASDAQ nod of approval, uh, I think is really, really positive for the community. Hidden in yesterday's announcement, Brave New Coin confirmed that it was in the final stages of launching a Ripple Liquid Index with NASDAQ already on board as a partner. It seems inevitable that the XRP Index listing will follow. Okay, so uh, CCN 
keeps kind of flip-flopping between Ripple Liquid Index and XRP Index. Maybe they are two things. Maybe they are listing Ripple on the NASDAQ too? I don't even know anymore. I thought this was about XRP. Huh, could be interesting. I mean, hey, if Ripple gets listed on the NASDAQ, I will definitely buy Ripple stock. Traders have mostly brushed over the launch of crypto indexes on NASDAQ, but it's a huge development. Uh, and so, yeah, again, a huge development in the space, guys. Could we see XRP listed on the NASDAQ in the near future? I think it's quite possible. This cryptocurrency revolution is happening as we speak. 2019 is the year for this emerging asset class to start to flourish. That's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.